So many people out there telling us that our lives are gonna be shortened because of the keto diet. Now we sit there and we talk about how you don't understand, like I feel good on this, it's doing so many things for my health, but we always tend to lack the concrete data to show that it's actually good for our lifespan. And it gets us back into corners. I'm sure you've been in that situation before. And if you're someone that hasn't started a ketogenic diet or a low carb diet and you're here because you're concerned if it's something that you can do and if it is safe for you long term, hopefully the evidence that I lay out based upon some pretty interesting journals is gonna help you really formulate a solid opinion because I'm not here to push you one way or the other. I'm just here to give you the science and show you that there is some concrete evidence when it comes down to the ketogenic diet and longevity. Now I'm also gonna jump to some conclusions based upon other things that we know here. So although this diagram looks fairly complex and scary and brings you back to sophomore biology class, I promise you we're gonna make it fun, we're gonna make it interesting. But this isn't the typical kind of, hey, let's go to In-N-Out or let's go to McDonald's and get a lettuce wrap burger kind of video. We're going to science class a little bit, so go ahead and get your glasses on. Hey, I wanna make sure you hit that red subscribe button and then also hit that little bell icon to turn on notifications. And then after this video is wrapped up, go ahead and check out Sun Warrior down below in the link in the description. Sun Warrior has something called the Warrior Blend. So it's a really cool ketogenic friendly protein powder that's plant-based. So it works for those that are doing keto as vegans, vegetarians, or those that aren't. So I just highly recommend that you check it out if you're looking for something on the go while you're doing a low carb uh, protocol or living a low carb keto lifestyle. All right, let's go ahead and dive right in. So basically what we have here is a diagram that shows the different things that happen on a ketogenic diet, mainly as related to a study that was published in the journal Cell Metabolism. So for the sake of this video, what I'm gonna do is now and then I'll come back here and reference specific points, but then I'll explain it on the diagram so it all makes sense. So, so just bear with me because it is gonna all come together. Now it is important that I note that the ketogenic diet, uh, most of the studies that are longer term have been done in mice. And they do long-term lifespan studies with mice because they can measure things faster. There are lots of longer ongoing studies like the Verda Health Study that have to do with humans and the ketogenic diet. And I've done videos on those and it's showing that it can reverse diabetes and has lots of positive results long-term. But I wanted to show you overall lifespan. So we're gonna zoom out and we're gonna look at it with mice so that we can get a big picture here. Okay. So first of all, this study that was published in the journal Cell Metabolism took a look at uh, lifespan, it took a look at different things that were occurring in the body. So we'll start here. The first thing that we have to notice is that the ketogenic diet decreases insulin. That is a very important thing to note and first and foremost should be mentioned. Decreasing insulin has a myriad of other positive cascading effects within the body. Okay, insulin has been shown to have effects on uh, Alzheimer's, on diabetes, on all kinds of chronic diseases and inflammation within the body. So if we can decrease insulin levels, we're already ahead of the ball game, okay? So I'm gonna jump around a little bit. So what this study did is it took a look at three groups of mice, okay? And it divided them uh, into a control diet group, which was not low carb at all, into a low carb diet group and into a ketogenic diet group. Okay, so these three groups all went through their life as normal, but just eating the same amount of calories, just different kinds of macronutrients. So the first thing that they discovered is the median lifespan with the ketogenic diet was 13.6% longer. The ketogenic diet group, that's not a small amount. 13.6% longer than the control diet, and then the low carb group was somewhere in the middle. Okay, so we find that the lower the carbohydrates were, the longer the mice lived. That is powerful stuff. So all of this is, is a massive justification for that. Okay, now they also found there was a big increase in cognitive function. How they noticed this was as they were aging and on these ketogenic diets or low carb diets, their affinity for novel objects increased, whereas the standard group or the control group would just kind of go out and play with toys that were, they were familiar with, whereas the other groups, the keto group and the low carb group, would actually go out and experiment with new toys and new things. That's a very positive sign of cognitive function when you're looking at mice studies. It means, wait a minute, they're actually interested in new things and their brain is working even as their age declines. Pretty powerful stuff. Okay, now how this likely happened was through a couple of different mechanisms. One, a decrease in insulin indirectly, but two, the presence of ketones themselves actually does this. So what it does is it upregulates something known as FOXO3A, 
okay, which is an anti-aging uh, antioxidant protein that got upregulated. I'll explain it in a minute, which actually then elevates superoxide dismutase. So what that's going to do, long story short, is it's going to increase the antioxidant capacity of the body. So that, in short, affects our cognitive function. It's basically making it so that the brain has less oxidative damage. So very, very positive stuff with that. Now, there's a lot of other reasons that the ketogenic diet could boost cognitive, right? Obviously, we know that a cognitive increase is going to occur simply because ketones can fuel the brain. But we're talking about from a lifespan side of things here. So the upregulation of superoxide dismutase and things like that are improving the antioxidant capacity as someone gets older. So what this means is cognitive health stays elevated as someone gets older. We know that ketones can make you feel smarter and can make you more efficient, but we're talking about with aging and with overall cognitive decline and stuff. So big power there, okay? Now the other thing that we have to look at was a significantly lower instance of cancer. Now what happened here is the keto diet, again, with the elevation of ketones, they found that there was an upregulation in something known as P53 tumor suppressor. Now this does a lot of different things, but basically what they found here is that cancer incidence was lower due to the acetylation of the lysine residues, therefore triggering an increase in P53. Basically, what it did is it, it broke down certain components to activate different proteins. P53 tumor suppressor, just as the name implies, can help mitigate cancer risk. Okay, so very powerful there. So they saw a decrease in cancer in the mice that were doing the ketogenic diet group compared to the control group and intermediate results for the low carb in between. Okay, now additionally, they saw a massive reduction in inflammation and you can see the chart that's gonna pop up on the screen here now. Okay, and then they had an increase in HDL cholesterol, their good cholesterols. This alone can have a positive impact on cancer, okay, just because inflammation being lower. So that's really, really powerful there. Of course, just for obvious health reasons. Okay, then there's one other piece I had to kind of draw a loop-de-loop -loop here. Ketones triggered mTOR to be suppressed in the liver in the brain. mTOR stands for mammalian target of rapamycin, and it is anabolic. Now, mTOR is the opposite of autophagy. If you've ever heard of intermittent fasting before, you know that fasting is beneficial because of autophagy. It encourages cellular recycling, okay? It encourages the cells to recycle and basically rebuild in a stronger way. So it forces the cells to sort of eat their own internal parts, right? So we want autophagy if we want to live for a long period of time. mTOR makes us build muscle and helps us be anabolic, but it's also known to be very, I guess, pro-aging is what you want to call it. So they found that there was a decrease in mTOR in the liver. I forgot the R there. I guess I need more ketones. There is a decrease in mTOR in the liver, okay? And possibly decrease of mTOR in the brain. Exactly what we want. But there was an increase in mTOR in the muscle, which would make sense as to why the mice got stronger, okay? So they found when they did these studies, they found, okay, well, these mice actually not only improved in their cognitive function, they improved in their physical strength. So they did like hang wire tests and everything like that, where they actually have mice like hang on little wires and things. If you've ever seen mice studies, you've probably seen it before. Anyhow, the mice were significantly stronger on the keto group as they went through aging process because their mTOR was elevated in the muscle. So basically they had mTOR elevated at the right places. The ability to build muscle could be really powerful there, all while suppressing the aging component of mTOR in the liver and in the organs and in the brain. So showing that when we couple it all together, it all makes sense why the ketogenic diet group lived for 13.6% longer. They had overall all these different links that increased their lifespan physical strength and decrease in mTOR in the liver, increase in lifespan. Antioxidant capacity, cognitive function, increase in lifespan. Decrease of inflammation, increase of HDL, increase of P53 tumor suppressors and other proteins as such, ultimately a subsequent decrease in cancer, also links to lifespan. So now we see the whole big picture that the ketogenic diet could be something that helps us live for a long period of time, not making us live a shorter life and die younger. So anyhow, take this all with a grain of salt or a grain of fat, whatever you want to call it with keto. That way you can do your own due diligence and see if this is for you or if you want to justify it more to your friends and family. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. I'll see you in the next video.